Tailsland. Michael. Gabrielle. Melanie. And together we are Tailsland in Gardens Real Estate. Real Estate. Guess what, everyone? What? What's our motto? It's. It. Yamani, tell us our motto. Okay, everyone, the motto is. Leave it to Lamy. This video features New Jersey Transit Comet 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 cab cars as humans. No flagging it, please. <laughs> Happy New Jersey Transit Day everyone! We have the Comet Cab Cars in here with us today. This is a triple lesson. We'll start with Lesson 6, Road Signs. And before we get started, I printed out 27 road signs for all 5 of you Comet Cab Cars to see. Look at the whiteboard then look at the printed signs. Let's begin. Traffic signs provide you important information about the road's rules, traffic laws and route guides, and provide alerts and warnings about the road's conditions. Signs are designed using different shapes, colors and symbols in order to make it easy for the people to identify them. There are a few different types of traffic signs, let me pull them out. We'll start off with regulatory signs. Regulatory signs provide information about the road rules and traffic laws and let you know about what to do or not do in different traffic situations. Regulatory signs are square or rectangular shaped and are white with black or red letters or symbols. On a few of my road sign flashcards are a few examples of regulatory signs. Comet 1. What's this sign? A stop sign. Good. Modern day Comet 2. What's this sign? I do not enter sign. Way to go modern day Comet 2. Still in storage Comet 3, what's this sign called? A yield sign. Nice job, even though you're still in storage as of 2016, you still earn DMV points towards your beginner's permit to be on the rails, rather than the road. Comet 4 whose cab controllers are deactivated, what is this sign? An U-turn sign. Good Comet 4, you've earned your cab controlling wings. Comet 5 who just made its complete order in 2013, what is this sign called? A sign that says no turns. Good job Comet 5, you've got PTC control installed. Before we move to warning signs, your voices are Paul, Simon, Brian, Lee, and Tom, no whoosh sound, and no speech bubbles. Okay Comet cab cars, let's move on to warning signs now. Warning signs provide alerts and warning about the road conditions or hazards, or possible traffic situations. Warning signs are usually diamond-shaped and are yellow with black lettering or symbols. Here are a few examples of warning signs, look at them. All Comet cab cars no talking as I read through them. This one's a lane ends merge left sign. This one's a signal ahead sign. This one is a sharp right angle turn ahead sign. This one's a speed advisory highway ramp sign. And this sign's a lane merge sign. Next is guide signs. Guide signs provide information about the roads and highways, and distance and directions to destinations. Guide signs are square or rectangular shaped and are green or brown with white lettering. Here are a few examples of guide signs, take a look. This sign says Interstate 22, that sign means it's an interstate highway. That means it's an interstate route sign. See the number 40 on it. That sign is a United States route sign. See the number 16 in the words Lassen and County on it. That is a county route sign. Oops. Sorry about the internet going bonkers. The hoops. Internet is down. <laughs> okay you comet cab cars that's enough laughter. Anyways, the green rectangular sign with the destinations Newark Airport and Elizabeth Seaport, the curvy straight arrow, the word exit the letter A, and the number 13 mean it's a freeway exit sign. And finally, this one. The destinations Calico Basin and Las Vegas and the numbers 2 and 17 mean it's a highway guide sign. First of all, I'm so sorry for the internet disconnecting twice and I had to reconnect it two times. Secondly, here we go on to the next row of signs. It's called temporary traffic control signs, also known as work zone signs. No talking and pay attention. 
temporary road condition signs provide information on a road work or other temporary road conditions. Temporary traffic control signs are usually diamond or square shaped and are usually fluorescent orange with black letters. Look at the whiteboard for a few examples of these orange colored guide signs. This sign means there is construction on a road ahead half a mile from you. See that man holding a flag? It's a flag or a head sign. Now look at this sign. It means you have to merge to the left lane. It's a right lane closed ahead sign. Y'all comets are going to hate this. This is an exit closed sign. Seeking an alternate route? This sign is a detour sign. Now I'm sorry that the videos tail slandy and gardens real estates made by accident or private. So if you threaten them to bring them back, there will be massive protests swarming everywhere worldwide, leading to a non-existent planet. Next we have recreational signs. Please don't scream with excitement as you see them. Services signs provide information about the location of various services, such as gas stations, rest areas, restaurants, campgrounds, and hospitals. Services signs are square or rectangular, and are blue with white letters or symbols. Maybe after lesson 6 we can transition. Anyways, here are a few examples of service and recreation signs. Look at the whiteboard. The white circle with a blue knife and fork mean it's a restaurant sign. Maybe you comets are hungry. So you may find something yummy in the train yards after the final stops you make are New York, Hoboken, Newark, and Atlantic City for more train food. Now look at this sign, it reminds you of the MMC, right? A gas pump means it's a gas station sign. The correct signs are a highway food service sign and a highway gas service sign. The letter H stands for hospital. And that sign is a hospital sign. That sign also reminds you of the MMC, maybe you should get repair there, right? Be careful comets. It's the emergency medical services sign. You don't want the MMC to heal you after getting hurt along with the multi-level, arrow III, or many and former locomotives. And what this sign with the right arrow is? It's a rest area sign. You comets need a rest after a long day of running the New Jersey Transit Rail Lines. This one is really for you comets. Ring your bells and sound your horns cause we have a couple signs for you. Railroad crossing signs is the last one. Railroad crossing signs inform you that you are approaching a railroad crossing. Here are a couple examples of what those signs mean. See that cross buck? You comets pass through that every day. Now the sign with two letter R's, an X, and a yellow circle. That sign is a railroad crossing ahead sign. Now for transition, all comets take off. So nice of you pups to be here. So here you go with lesson 7, car maintenance. Car maintenance checklist. You need to inspect your vehicle's important parts periodically that are responsible to keep you safe on the road. Especially on the missions you go on as a team led by Ryder and Alia, his assistant to the team. Having your car regularly maintained will save you substantial amount of money in the long run. You do not need to memorize all maintenance items below, but this information is provided so you have the knowledge of your car's important maintenance items. Pups, please tell me about every car maintenance step. The tires. Tire pressure, at least once a month. Tires condition and tread depth, periodically. The brakes. Brake fluid, every two years, or 24,000 miles. Brake pads brake shoes, when the brake pads brake shoes thickness is at the minimum safe thickness. The coolant. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend replacing the coolants every two years, or 24,000 miles. The motor oil and oil filter. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend replacing the vehicle's oil and oil filter every 3,000 miles. The automatic transmission fluid. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend replacing the vehicle's transmission fluid every two years, or 24,000 miles. The power steering fluid. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend checking the vehicle's power steering fluid every three months. The battery. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend checking the vehicle's battery every four to five years. The vehicle lights. Periodically inspect your vehicle's lights to make sure that there is no burn bulb and to make sure that all lights are all working properly. The windshield wipers. It is important to make sure that your windshield wipers are working properly, so make sure to replace them as soon as they are worn out. 
the timing belt. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend replacing the timing belt between 60,000 and 90,000 miles. The spark plugs. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend replacing the spark plugs between 30,000 and 100,000 miles. The air filter. Most vehicles manufacturer recommend replacing the vehicle's air filter every year, or every 24,000 miles. All pups go out to Ryder and Aliyah. I have another DMV class to teach which could be my final. Before we move on, let me take roll to see if an unexpected character is not included. Caitlin Cook. Here. Jen Masterson. Here. Nikki Wong. Here. Jonesy Garcia. Here. And Wyatt Williams. Here. All right now, let's move on to DMV Lesson 8, Physical and Mental Requirements. Okay boys and girls, we learned that as a driver you need to know the traffic laws, follow the rules of the road, and use defensive driving skills to stay safe on the road. However, just having a good knowledge of the traffic laws and driving skills is not enough to be a good driver. You will need to be physically and mentally healthy in order to be able to drive safely. That includes drinking and texting while driving. A driver needs to meet the following physical and mental requirements. Can any of you describe one? What are the physical and health requirements? Caitlin, the physical and health requirements are non-existence of fatigue, physical ability that is required to operate a vehicle, and non-existence of a health condition that can cause a driver to lose control or become immobilized during driving. What are the sensory function requirements? Jen, the sensory function requirements are intact visual, intact hearing, and sense of touch. And what are the mental requirements? Nikki, the mental requirements are ability to process the sensory functions, ability to focus, being stable mentally and emotionally, ability to make sound judgment that is required while driving, and ability to identify a driving hazard, process it, and make a sound decision and react appropriately to each situation. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for the Comet Cab Cars from New Jersey Transit, the Paw Patrol pups named Chase, Marshall, Rubble, Rocky, and Sky, and you main characters of 16 Kate Lynn, Jen, Nikki, Jonesy, and Wyatt. Everyone is dismissed. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Click like on every video we post. Subscribe to our channel. Turn on push notifications to get notified of every video we post. And comment in every video we post in the comment section. We take Popa very seriously, you know. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. 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 Stay tuned for more.